Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft has released the latest optional bug fix C release update for Windows 10. And for this month, the optional update is KB5062649. Now, as I always say with optional updates, only install these optional updates that roll out towards the end of the month if you are experiencing problems with your machine. And my reason for saying that is because these preview updates are known to cause issues. And if you don't install the update, now it will be carried over into the Patch Tuesday security update that will roll out on the second Tuesday of next month, August 2025. Now the update rolled out late yesterday in my part of the world. And if you do decide to install the update, if we head to Winver, this is the About Windows menu. Once the update has been installed, Windows 10 version 22H2 is sitting on version and build 19045.6159. Now, there is one new feature that Microsoft has listed for this update. Um, it's taking place under the hood, and I don't think your average Joe is going to even know that it exists, but I'm just going to mention it for the purpose of this video. Microsoft says that the update adds the ability to deploy SKUSI policy VBS anti-rollback protections through the Secure Boot Available Updates Registry key. So that's taking place very deep under the hood, so to speak. Now, over and above that so-called new feature, there are a handful of fixes and an update. So I'm just going to mention them all for the purpose of this video. There's a fix for the Extended Security Updates Wizard where apparently some users experienced a problem according to Microsoft where clicking Enroll Now caused the wizard window to open, begin loading, and then close unexpectedly. Microsoft says that this occurred due to incomplete app registration, which prevented the wizard from loading correctly. And if you were experiencing that issue, this update addresses that issue to ensure a smoother enrollment experience according to Microsoft. And then they've updated the mobile operator profiles these optional updates do that from month to month. And then there's a fix for core file systems. So this is bringing a bit of stability um, into the OS. An issue observed in rare cases, according to Microsoft, after installing the May 2025 security update. So that would have been this update, KB5058379. And any other subsequent updates was causing devices to experience stability issues according to Microsoft. Some devices became unresponsive and stopped responding in specific scenarios. So that's quite an important stability fix. And then we get three input fixes, two of which are fixing known issues. The first known issue that's been fixed was with the Microsoft Changey input method. Users were unable to select words after a recent update. Now that's region specific. Now that's a region specific known issue that's been addressed, but nonetheless, good to hear that's been patched. And then here's a big one. Microsoft says there was a known issue when searching for an emoji in the emoji panel. Now the good news is, is that I have checked this out and it is indeed fixed. So if we launch the emoji panel with Windows key and stop, and I do a search for smiley as an example, you can see now that that is working. So good news because there have been quite a couple of comments on the channel regarding that issue. So that's been fixed. And then Microsoft says there was an issue with the phonetic input methods, including the Hindi phonetic input keyboard and Marathi phonetic keyboard, which apparently did not work correctly after a recent update. That has also been fixed. So, so that's what's new with this latest update, KB5062649, which is now rolling out for Windows 10 22H2. So thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.